So Hans, now that you've joined Next Tracker, we're more than thrilled. We're excited to have you on the team and, and to provide a, a Next Tracker leadership presence in the region with your headquarters in Dubai. Tell us what your initial thoughts are as you're joining Next Tracker. Well, uh, first of all, uh, that, that's really a, a great and a very exciting experience for me to, to join the market leader. And, and I really have to underline that I'm absolutely convinced that this region is the, the region of the, the future for, for, for the large scale solar project. Yeah, I, I, I'm 100% convinced that I've got the chance to go for big deals like uh, what's coming up in UM and uh, some others in the region and in, in Africa. It's really, really uh, great. And it's, it's like coming back to a, to a family. As you know, we've been working in the region. Extractor's been in the Middle East, North Africa region since 2015. We've had mm -hmm. some success in the region. The Sakaka yeah. project, our first Saudi Arabia project, 400 megawatts, which we, we uh, closed in 2018. We deployed it 2018, 2019 yeah. with Saudi local content, which we're com completely committed to. And we know that's important to the region. Mm -hmm. We've also been successful in the Egypt, Ben Bon area with over 300 megawatts, in Jordan, in Qatar, in Oman. Our flagship, if you will, is the one gigawatt Dewa 5 project uh, in Dubai. Uh, it's right behind me, actually. There's an image here of the robotic cleaning solution mm -hmm. that we've deployed at Dewa 5. The robots and the robotic cleaning and not using water, extremely important in the region. Tell us uh, how this uh, launch pad, if you will, what we've established so far in the Middle East, how this helps you launch into your activity in the region. Yeah, uh, th this is a great platform to start with. And uh, let me uh, give you a, an answer in, in two directions. The one direction is to show that we are localized, that we are able to do the local projects. And I mean, Sakaka was, was really a, a great achievement. Tell us how, how this fits in with the region and with the requirements to be successful in the region. This is why I joined Next Tracker because you are looking to be closer to customers. And uh, in, in Dubai, our main focus is also uh, our, our local production in, in, in the kingdom and uh, to, to deal with the existing and uh, 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 local suppliers. And so this is why I live here with my family now in Dubai. Business development in Dubai, you will find all the companies here. But uh, the business is also uh, the main focus is how we produce and where we produce and how we transfer the intellectual property to, to the region and how we can increase the supply chain and increase the quality. Important to Next Tracker, as we continue to expand in different markets around the world, we try to maintain the quality of our steel components so that no matter what factory they're manufactured in, they have the exact same quality when they arrive to the customer site that they fit together and we're able to construct the, the perfect next tracker solar tracker. So we've been uh, honored and, and um, really acknowledge the high quality of the steel manufacturing of our partners in Saudi Arabia. Tell us, uh, based on your background, how you see the evolution of how the steel quality and steel manufacturing has improved over the years in Saudi and how we're poised for the future. When we started, and you started also with a 10 megawatt and 20 megawatt project, then you can send the bulk uh, products or whatever to any region, and uh, there was no optimization. Yeah? But at the moment, when we talk about 100, 400 megawatt, 450 megawatt, or uh, one gigawatt, uh, it, it's first of all, it's the quality that's clear, and second, it's how to establish the uh, the overall supply chain. That was all the time, I think, uh, the most underestimated point. Now it comes back to quality means that we have to stick to our quality. We have to do the factory acceptance test. And everything at the end exactly fitted to a big project. That means we need the approval from owners, engineers. From my point of view, it's really a very complex and very challenging supply chain, but we showed it already. You showed it in MBR or in, in Qatar project or in Swayhan project. So there are a lot of good examples. Not only is steel quality important to us, the local participation of our local partners, extremely important. Next week, we're going to see each other and, and our customers at the World Future Energy Summit in Abu Dhabi. Uh, it's one of my favorite shows of the year. I love uh, coming into the Middle East region, into Abu Dhabi. It's a very well-organized uh, conference, solar conference. We see all of our key customers. And then um, 
uh, as you indicated, the relationships that we build and, and the network that we have in the region is extremely important. And after you know almost two years of, of COVID and remote meetings and Zoom meetings like this one, uh, I'm really excited to actually see people in person, meet with our customers, really feel that, that network again. Of course, we're going to take all the precautions required to stay safe at our booth and, and at the event. There's no replacement for the relationship and the, uh, and the excitement of, of meeting with people live, really uh, seeing people after a couple of years, rebuilding those relationships, talking about new projects. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, how, how does it make you feel to have a gigawatt project within driving distance of your office, Hans? What's that like? Uh, this is, uh, that is really fantastic. Yeah? So exciting, Hans. Uh, for me, having focused on this region uh, for the last six years, to see a gigawatt project being deployed. Years ago, our customers requested RFPs for robotic cleaning. We responded. We qualified several of the robotic cleaning suppliers on our test facilities in both China and India. We did long-term stress testing, 10,000 cycles of robotic cleaning, emulating how the cleaning would work at night, docking stations, bridges between rows, it's been really an effort that we've made because we heard years ago the customers very clearly indicating you need robots to clean these, yeah. these projects. As the projects get bigger to the gigawatt scale, you cannot have humans with water brushing the modules. It gives me a great pride to deploy the robotic cleaning at the Dewa 5 MBR project. True Capture has really positioned us well for success in the region. We developed and launched the True Capture software four years ago, and uh, we were able to combine machine learning and artificial intelligence in a software that avoids shading during the backtracking hours in the morning and afternoon, and also improves production during diffuse light hours. In real time, we can sense diffuse light over the entire plant and move into a position to harvest more light. True Capture is something that not only produces more energy for the customer, it's also, it also also allows us to, to be connected to our power plants remotely, as you mentioned, over the life of the plant, over the next 20, 25 years, as we continue to improve our software, we're able to upgrade our customers remotely and they all benefit from the additional energy enhancements. So machine learning, artificial intelligence, these are... Uh, you know, words of the future that we're implementing now. And just to look at numbers, we have 55 gigawatts of Next Tracker smart solar trackers around the world, of which 22 gigawatts are true capture enabled. So about 40% of our fleet, just let's just think of those numbers 22 gigawatts of true capture enabled trackers globally. I'd say that the market has. Uh, has accepted our technology and, and mm -hmm. you know, acknowledges and validates that they do indeed get more energy production. They're willing to pay for that software for that additional energy bump. There's an excitement around the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia with the renewable energy targets, 30% renewables by 2030. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you see the, the Saudi Arabia market developing over the next 10 years or so. Well, the announcement was uh, 27 gigawatt. They have also... Uh, huge population so that calls for uh, much more uh, uh, solar energies and at the same time a lot of developers and investors are coming the saudi uh, we can see as a very stable market uh, there are a lot of uh, positive factors uh, why i i really believe that this market will we will see uh, more world records to come yeah. this market and it's not only the saudi market but uh, we, we will see also a lot of projects coming in in oman or in uh, uh, in, in the UAE again, and some in in, um, in Africa. But uh, I think the large size project will be here in the region, maybe the next one also in um, in Oman, another one in Qatar, and uh, some in, in the UAE. Hans, I'm, I'm excited to partner with you, with our operations team, our, our asset management team. At, at, at Next Tracker, we, um, we build the relationships with the customers. We hand them off to our operations team who then goes and executes with customers, right? What's important to our customers? On-time delivery, constructability, quality mm -hmm. components, flawless commissioning, robotic cleaning, as we've proven, and then the long-term 
energy production of that power plant, optimized energy production with the power plant. That's how we can layer in true capture and through smart connected uh, trackers, we're able to really keep the energy production at an optimal level through the 2025 year life of that plant. That gets me excited, Hans. That, that's why I wake up in the morning. I guess we could say the sun never sets on next tracker because we are a global company. We've got a team around the world, as you mentioned, China, Australia, Singapore, right. India, now the Middle East with your presence there in Dubai. Excited mm -hmm. to have you. Our Europe team based in Spain, uh, Brazil, Chile, Mexico, and of course, uh, United States, our headquarters. We are covering the global markets around the world. Uh, I've, I've uh, built a team. I, I've really worked hard to really find professionals and built a global sales team that, that works together. As you mentioned, we, we, we work as a family. We try to give the same level of professionalism and service at different markets around the world. One of the important key areas at Next Tracker is the long-term relationships that we build with the long-term asset holders. For example, in the Middle East, a great partner like Aqua Power. Aqua develops the projects, they win the PPAs, they create the business for the rest of us to have the opportunities to bid and win. They're also the long-term asset holder. So we mm -hmm. know that we're entering into relationship. It's not for one or two years to deliver a project and construct it. It's for the next 20, 25 years where we're standing behind the warranty. Tell us uh, about the initiatives, the leadership in the UAE and Saudi Arabia that is really pushing renewables in the region. I mentioned before uh, that we, we call it the Saudization and that we, we very often call it local content. Local content is, is, is only one piece. That means we, we are looking for 60% or to, to produce uh, even 100% uh, in, in the region, which means we have to transfer the intellectual property to the region. And this means we have to educate. We have to have uh, Saudi people. We have to have uh, the right partner, which is already in the region. So we, we, we will support this. And at the end, when we see now 2030 on the horizon, we will absolutely support the Vision 2030 with our activities. So you see significant job creation in Saudi Arabia driven by... Uh, this vision for 2030? Steel is one point and steel production is already here, but the forming of the steel, the maintaining and the installation, the quality aspect is becoming more and more important. I think we need hundreds of uh, high level educated uh, quality engineers for, for to build such projects. You're right, uh, it's job creation. That's a priority one. I really want to thank you, uh, yes. Hans, for your time today, for, for the insights that we've shared. And uh, again, welcome to Next Tracker, my friend. Uh, okay. Excited to work with you and take Next Tracker to the next level in the MENA region. Look forward to seeing you next week.